But the big story on Action News tonight is new details in an unusual and very heavy heist in Northeast Philadelphia. Police say someone broke into a parked tractor trailer overnight that was loaded with dimes. The coins have been picked up from the Philadelphia Mint and were ultimately bound for Florida. Detectives now believe the thieves got away with twice as much as they originally thought, some 10,000 pounds worth of the coins. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live now at the Walmart parking lot where this all played out. Maggie, that adds up to quite a bit of money. Brian, the scope of this is just incredible when you think about it. Investigators think that this thief or thieves may have gotten up to $200,000 worth of dimes. That's 2 million coins. Thousands of dimes scattered and shimmering in a parking lot of Philadelphia Mills Mall. They spilled out of a park trailer when thieves broke in. They were trying to cross cross load the dimes into other things to carry it away. There's dimes all over the parking lot. The cargo $750,000 worth of dimes was loaded up at the Philadelphia Mint yesterday. Police say the truck driver parked here overnight, went home and got some sleep before a long day of driving to Florida. But when he returned in the morning, he found someone had broken into the trailer using bolt cutters and stolen hundreds of thousands of dimes. It's normal in the trucking industry, like they would pick up a load. There's rules about how much you can drive, etc. So they have to get their required sleep. Trucker Damien Luger says typically a driver stays with the cargo overnight. If you have to sleep or yeah, bed in the back, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. And you're supposed to stay with the trailer, so. I'm not sure why, why, why he left it like that. Police say the cargo thefts have been an ongoing issue, both here in the Northeast and in South Philadelphia, with all kinds of goods stolen. We've had lamb, chicken, TVs, refrigerators, et cetera, taken alcohol. Now police are collecting the dropped dimes and surveillance video to try and find the culprits. And if I was a banker and all of a sudden I heard that and somebody tries bringing in dimes, oh no, I'm being like red button, sorry. Yeah, and as you can imagine, the counting process for an investigation like this is extremely tedious. Detectives still trying to figure out exactly how much was taken and of course, by who. We're live in the Northeast, Maggie Kent, Channel 6, Action News. Brian. Okay, Maggie, thank you.